All right, I don't know if this is uh, the biggest mistake what I'm doing now or <laughs> or not <laughs> because I'm applying all perfumes that I'll feature in today's video right now on me and wish me luck. Actually, I think that's pretty cool because I have a real... What's this? Oh, fuck. <laughs> I hope it won't stay there forever. Oh, no. I didn't expect it to be as strong. Oh, my God. I have so many more so many more and i have no space where to spray maybe on my neck oh guys how are you <laughs> i didn't expect it to take so long my goodness okay i'm almost done Hello everybody and welcome back! The stain is still there, but that doesn't matter! Colder time of the year is coming closer and closer, at least in Europe, and during chilly nights there is nothing more pleasant than wearing a cozy perfume that will give you a feel of comfort, right? So I decided to share with you my top 12 cozy perfumes and this video is gonna be real good! I think it's gonna be long, so definitely grab a snack, a drink, let me know which perfume gives you a cozy feel, and let's get started! The first fragrance on this list is Amsterdam by Galavant, you guys, and in general this is an easygoing fragrance with the biggest benefit that it is super comforting and it has a very gentle aroma. Honestly, guys, it was love at first sniff for me, and every time I smell it, I think like, oh my god, this is the best thing ever. Every time I smell it, I admire its beauty. And it is actually hard to describe it, because it's quite abstract, nothing stands out in here, there is no particular note that I would tell you, oh, that and that is super dominant in here. It smells of uh, something familiar, but yet abstract. It's like your favorite t-shirt that is a little bit worn, but that just shows how much you love it. It is very easygoing, just perfect for men and women. It has this abstract freshness from tulip accord, there are some spices, some gentle musk, and it is warm. It has a bit of woodiness, very creamy sandalwood, and it is most casual fragrance ever. And be ready for some unique experience. If you try Amsterdam, let me know what you think about it, because I can wear day and night, summer and winter, and every time it makes me feel really good. So with that being said, let's move on to something a bit heavier. And I want to include Madar by Poesie Perfumes, because this list wouldn't be completed without it. And Madar was created in order to captivate the scent of creamy rice pudding. And indeed, it has delicious spices of cinnamon and cardamom, a bit of sharp saffron, and some sweet pistachios with a salty hint and endlessly creamy rice. And this aroma makes you feel like you're a child who just come back home from school and your house smells of something delicious. Maybe your grandma or your mom or your sister or whatever made a exotic dessert just for you. And it smells like home, it smells creamy, it smells foodish, it is unisex, it is very long-lasting and oh so special. Believe me, it is a cozy perfume that you want to wear to fight fault impression. All right, this next perfume is Tartan by Sarah Baker Perfumes and it is actually what inspired me to film this video. She has a new design. I absolutely adore her new packaging. This logo is everything, gives me really positive vibes. And normally I'm not into very woody perfumes. I don't wear them on a daily basis, but I discovered my love for Tartan is actually reformulated and it was created by Sarah McCartney and I am actually addicted to her perfumes lately, so I sort of like Tartan because it opens with the scent of freshly cut cedarwood. Honestly, 
I love the opening. It is so realistic. It smells of cedar wood, but at that um, same time, there is interesting note of hops and bread. I saw Sarah use them in her own perfumes, but they are very rare, and I think they make this fragrance to really stand out from everything else that I've tried with cedar wood before. And it is a modern. Gourmand, it's not really a gourmand, there is a gourmand twist in there, probably from those like hops and bread, it's nothing um, that would be like sweet, you know, and there is moss, there is labdanum, um, and um, there is actually a little bit of uh, leather and tobacco, so on the one side it smells like uh, you're having a very cozy afternoon or maybe evening in the library where aroma of uh, burning barks of cedar wood from the fire place uh, mixes with aroma of uh, cigars and leathery books but on the other side it's like walking in scottish or irish mountains smelling moss woods and discovering this little town in the mountains and entering this uh, tiny bar ordering something delicious to drink and wrapping yourself into the blanket. Love this very atmospheric perfume. There are modern molecules that um, make sure that it stays on the bright side without going deep into the darkness and it is unisex but I would personally recommend it for men. You guys, this next perfume is called Blanc de Sisa by Semimi and fragrances from this brand are masterpieces in and out. I believe the designer of Lacombe's is Tiziana Terence and you know Terence's style is pure Italian elegance and the concept of this brand is fantastic because all of their perfumes are inspired by mothers and that's so cool and Blanc de Sisa tells a story about powerful mother who dresses and lives as a man to raise her daughter and at the age of 65 the Egypt's president Abdul Fattah al-Assis I'm sorry if I mispronounced some names, gave Sisa Abdu a uh, motherhood award in 2015. And just as the story, this scent will touch your heart. I can't imagine a person that wouldn't like this perfume. This is endless love. It is so good. It will literally melt your soul. And it is sort of a sweet perfume, but it has this exotic freshness and talc powder in there. And it is quite extra, but at the same time, oh my god, every time I want to go out and feel myself really good, powerful, but at the same time I want people to like me and I just want to radiate the charming vibe, I wear this perfume. And it lasts for quite a decent period of time on me. My boyfriend adores it. I love how crazy he is about this perfume. This is just a must try you guys. This perfume is something absolutely beautiful and yes, so cozy. But let's move on to something a little bit more sexy, shall we? This fragrance, Soleil Noir by Esquisse Parfums, was love at first sniff. Actually, it was addiction at first sniff and I got a boil of it because I love to wear it at night. On the naked body, when I am alone or with someone, this perfume is a must try, honestly, must try my recommendation to all who love oriental perfumes because it is about golden, shiny amber and there are lots of delicious powdery notes, resinous notes, something animalic, something balmy, but I actually enjoy the citrus in the background that is sort of a sweet orange that is behind all the other notes, yet it is a little bit noticeable all the time. Wearing this perfume is a true pleasure. You know, like, you're addicted to the way you smell and you can't stop smelling yourself. That is the way I experience this perfume. It is warming, it is cocooning, and it is just great for ugly weather. All right, guys, this next fragrance is Hereafter by Sarah Horowitz. I've already mentioned it a lot of times on my channel, and Modern Molecules and Vanilla make it smell like aphrodisiac, and I'm not kidding, you guys, because it smells very good. Sometimes I think it smells too good. Every time I smell it, I'm like, oh my god, this is the best thing on this planet. 
It is actually one of the best cardamom perfumes I've ever smelled and has sexy body. It is incredibly soothing. It is like the smoothest, most exciting experience you'll ever have. And uh, when I want to feel real good inside and I know that this perfume has real nice performance, it projects really nicely and it just turns my pessimistic mind into some positive direction and I wear this perfume and it makes me feel like everything is all right and I'm having time of my life. Alrighty, this next perfume is Lavender and Wool by Linda Londonberg and this is a perfume for a special occasion, that time when it's raining, snowing and I don't want to do anything but be wrapped into a woolen blanket with a book in bed. It basically smells like a hot chocolate done of bitter cacao with lavender because it has that interesting sort of gourmand twist but the overall impression of this perfume is spicy, dark, mysterious and it is especially pleasant to wear it outside or when you're at home and it is very cold, like it's a severe winter. It is an award-winning perfume, it is extremely long-lasting, it is very unisex and I'm sure you've never experienced anything quite like it. The next perfume is my beloved Sunny Side Up that I've already featured in so many videos of mine by Juliet Has a Gun and it is my comfort fragrance to wear out. It is about Iso E Super and not so sweet a vanilla, but very pleasant and beautiful, creamy, best of all woods sandalwood. It smells like skin like sexy young skin and uh, it was featured in a bunch of my videos and I wore it a lot during the summer and I'll wear it in the autumn as well because it is nice for warmer autumn days, it is round, it is totally relaxing, my boyfriend loves to wear it, my boyfriend loves when I'm wearing it and I love that too. So yeah, it is my comforting perfume, it sits a bit close to the skin, it projects uh, pretty nicely but does nothing Thing super strong as for example lavender and wool. Okay my friends, are you ready for something sweet? One of my most favorite extreme gourmands is of course Chocolate Greedy by Montal. This baby smells of chocolates with candied citruses and super stimulating vanilla and some people eat sweets to feel better when they have an anxiety, but that is not a healthy way to get in a good mood. My secret is to wear extreme gourmands. They create a feeling of happiness by pushing the endorphins without any risk for overweight. And this is my sweet love, love, love. Everything about this perfume is super sweet and I love it. If you are a chocolate junkie, this is a must-have for you and believe me, this fragrance will make you feel the time of your life. Like you're having the time of your life even though everything sucks. This perfume is a true miracle and yes, it is very cozy for sure. My god, what is this? Which perfume is that? Oh, I haven't mentioned it yet. Actually, I'm surprised that it leaves stains like this, but see? That is a warning for you. We'll come to it in a little bit, but now I want to mention something very special. This perfume by Abdul Karim Al Faransi, that is called like this, is inspired by the city with the same name that is located in the south of Tunisia. And even though it is about jasmine, I can't tell you it is the typical modern jasmine that we are familiar with. It is sort of a wild jasmine, you guys. It smells very creamy and surprisingly fresh. It is relaxing and motivating all at once and it is also quite musky and that is that clean white musk. You can tell it is very oily. I personally love to apply a little bit on my hair and it goes such a long way and I love to wear it when I've just taken a shower in order to prolong the feeling of freshness. This super pure scent is like a fairy tale and as all Abdul Karim Al Faransi's perfumes, it is extremely long-lasting. So with that being said, here's the perfume that 
leaves stains and I just love you so much I'm not even mad at the stain because this is Musk Diamond by Lincombe, the newest flanker of Trezor and this is my adorable baby it is about wonderfully feminine energy of a modern musk something clean something fresh something almondy creamy milky a little bit fruity it sits close to the skin it is quite intimate so you need to be close enough in order to smell it and it is a semi gourmand it is not too sweet but yet it is delicious and yummy and elegant and i love to wear it anytime anywhere <sighs> This is one of the best designer releases of the year. I love it. And, uh, you know, it's just like musky, very like, hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm still a little bit disappointed that I have this stain all this um, time, but um, I recommend you this perfume. It's honestly one of the best ones. And completing this video, I need to mention All My Soul by 4160 Tuesdays. Oh my god, it is back again. I featured it in countless videos and I'll probably feature it in many more because this is a fantastic perfume. Actually, the idea of this perfume was to create a group hug sensation and do you know what it will hug you with thousand hands of warm resins such as benzene or poponax labdanum honey some woods flowers such as iris rose neroli and cozy boozy sweet delicious alcoholic cognac guys notes are amazing perfume smells so good it smells gently but safely it is very strong and you know, hugging helps to reduce stress levels and uh, by wearing this perfume you will be in your comfort zone for sure, doesn't matter what you're doing. I personally enjoy to wear it when it is dark and cold and it was a blind buy for me and I was awarded with one of the best works from a gourmand queen, Sarah McCartney. I definitely recommend you this perfume, one of the best fragrances in my collection and that completes this pretty long chatty video. I hope you enjoyed watching this one. All the information about mentioned perfumes you'll find in the description box down below. Please let me know feedback about this video and I would like to know which of these mentioned perfumes uh, interest you the most and what are your cozy perfumes that make you feel comfortable. I'm looking forward to chat with you. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask and I'll be happy to answer. And that's all. If you enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Let me know which other videos you want me to do for you next and stay tuned, smell good, we'll see each other next one really soon. Oh my god, I smell so good, so good, so so good. I need to do something cool. Have a nice day, bye!